A great trick for your next road trip is pack baby wipes. Even if you don't have a baby, baby wipes can be used for so many different things. If you're eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and your fingers get sticky, or just to clean up general messes, baby wipes are great to have in the car. We recommend getting the unscented kind so you're not filling your vehicle with fragrance. And this is a great option. You can find some really inexpensive brands to buy for this. Next, we are going to let you know how to make a car sickness kit. This is great to have with you in the car if you have children who are prone to car sickness or if you're just not sure. It's just real easy to have all together to be able to grab when you're ready to head out the door for your road trip. So a few things in here. Got some baby wipes. Even if your child's not a baby, these are great to have to clean things up. The fragrance free is probably going to be best for this situation. And you can add in some paper towels as well to help clean up any messes. Some hand sanitizer. Of course, some motion sickness medication that you can bring along. And a couple of bags. So we have a garbage bag. So this is great. Maybe if your child gets their clothes dirty or something like that, you can put it in a bag until you get to your final destination to be able to clean it. And some sort of wipe that is antibacterial, antiviral is great to have as well for cleanups. And then you also have another bag in here. This could come into use for storing the clothes as well, or maybe um, when your child is throwing up that they can use this bag for that. You can also put a bag in a sand bucket. That's another great thing to have. And then for afterwards, a little light snack to help their stomach feel better, and also a beverage to help rehydrate them. So you can store all of this simply in a gallon bag and throw it in your car before your road trip. When you are getting ready for your road trip, there's a few things that you can do with your phone that will make your trip a lot easier. First of all, grab your phone and download your favorite playlist of songs that you want to listen to or your favorite podcast. It'll save you a lot from arguing with the radio and trying to find what to listen to, and it'll help you pass the time as well. Next, be sure you bring a car charger. If your car does not have a USB charger in it, you can pick up one of these portable chargers. This one that I have holds about five phone charges in it, so it's really strong and you can just plug it in and charge away. Especially if you're using your phone for directions, you do not want to lose battery power. Another great thing I love on a road trip is a nice cold cup of coffee, a nice iced coffee. Well, did you know that you can easily make homebrew at your own house? It's so easy, y'all. So if you do have a grinder, you'll want to grind some fresh beans. If you don't, that's all right. You can just use what you get at the store. So if you have a grinder, you're gonna wanna put it on about 28. You want it to be a little bit coarser than normal. And I like doing different flavors for mine. This one is a caramel latte flavor. I'm just gonna pour some beans in there. We wanna end up with about three quarters cup for this recipe of ground coffee. Once your iced coffee is ready, after it's sat for about 12 hours, be sure to press down the plunger if you're using a French press. If you're not using a French press, you're gonna to wanna to lay some cheesecloth over what you're going to pour it through, so that way the cheesecloth can catch the grinds for you. And you will want to use some coffee ice cubes if you don't want to water down your drink, but some folks will find it easier and more palatable to add some water or some milk or soy milk to their cold brew just because it is a little bit more concentrated. So just find how you like it. Remember, put it in the refrigerator 12 hours before you leave at least. It can stay in there longer. So the night before is the best option for your cold brew. A great trick if you have kids coming along with you for your road trip is to bring a cookie sheet with a ridge around it with you and that way they can have their own personal little desk in their lap. They can lay their crayons on it, their coloring books, or if they're playing a game, and that way stuff won't go rolling around and they have it real easily on their lap. Did you know that you can simply take a cupcake liner and put it in your cup holder in your car? So that way it will be protected from crumbs and dust and maybe some little drips from some cups and that way you have a cleaner car. 
Sometimes when you're on a road trip, you just need a place to put your stuff and not lose important things like your purse or maybe items that the kids are going to be playing with in the back seat. One great road trip hack is to buy some D-rings that you can get really at any store, especially hardware stores. All you do is attach it to the back of the headrest and then you can clip on any sort of bag with a handle that you need to to the back of it. So that way it'll be hanging and easily accessible. If you and your family love to play games in the car but hate losing things, if you've got some dice, you can just throw them in a clear, small container, put on the lid, and you can roll right within the container. You're not going to lose them at all, and they'll stay contained. A great trick for your Myrtle Beach road trip is to go ahead and freeze some water bottles ahead of time or some gallon jugs, depending on the size of your cooler. Go ahead and make sure you let some water out of these bottles though before you freeze them because the ice will expand. And the reason for doing this is not only will you have a bigger chunk of ice that will melt more slowly, you can then enjoy a nice cool drink when you arrive as well. A problem that comes up when taking road trips or being in the car a lot is what to do with your trash while you're in the car. There just never seems to be a great solution. So this is one awesome great road trip hack that we have for you. Simply take a container that you would use for cereal where there's a hole in the top that you can open. Just stick in a bag that you get from the grocery store. and put the lid on. So the great thing about this is it's spill proof. I mean, if it gets knocked over in the car, stuff isn't gonna fall out. It's not gonna make a mess everywhere. And you can just open up the top to stick your trash in. And it's so easy. So this is a great road trip hack. Trash can made out of something in your kitchen. One of my favorite road trip snacks is actually a grilled cheese sandwich. So go ahead and try this before you leave to see if it's something you like. It's not for everyone. You're simply going to make a grilled cheese before you leave the house, just like you normally would. Nothing different here. Add your favorite kind of cheese. All right, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go cook this up on the stove. And we are back with our grilled cheese sandwich. Now what you wanna do is let this cool for a little bit and then stick it in your refrigerator before you leave. And then when you leave for your trip, pack it in with your cooler. So you're gonna be eating a cold grilled cheese sandwich, but I personally love it and think it's a great option for a road trip snack. Another great, cold, refreshing drink to enjoy on your road trip that is so easy to make is iced tea, and you will be surprised how easy this is. All you need is your favorite travel cup that is great for an insulated beverage, and you're gonna wanna get two tea bags. So pick your favorite flavor. I'm using watermelon mint today. I find that the fruity ones are really good cold. So all you're gonna do is stick it in the bottom of your cup like that, add some ice on top, Fill it up with ice cubes so it stays nice and cold. The tea bags that are round like that without a tag on them are really easy to use because that way you don't have to worry about the tag soaking in the water. All right, so now we've filled our cup up with ice and then you're just gonna pour some water over it. All right. Put your lid on and let it sit for a few hours. I usually like to wait about four hours. So this is gonna be a great pick-me-up along the way of your route and they'll be nice and cold and you'll see that the tea will steep right in there with the cold water. And you can add some stevia or sugar if you'd like. Anything that you might normally mix in with your tea, you can add before you leave the house and you'll have a nice cold beverage. You can also do this before you leave the hotel on the way back. If there's ice that you can grab, bring a couple extra tea bags with you so you have that ready. Tip for packing your car for your road trip. If you live in a hot climate, there's a few things you can do to make your packing a little bit easier. If you wait until the morning that you leave, if it's already gotten a little bit too hot out, you might find yourself sweltering in the heat while you're packing up your car. So a few tips on packing your car. If you live in a hot climate, go ahead and make sure that you park somewhere in the shade the night before if you can. That way your car will be a little bit cooler. And if you can also leave your windows cracked a little bit, that is a great option as well and if you can pack some things the night before when it's a little bit cooler out that'll make your packing in the morning a lot easier and you'll be able to get out the door quicker 
Another hack that we love for road trips and any type of travel is to use packing cubes. Now if you don't have packing cubes, you could also use some Ziploc bags, things like that, but packing cubes will usually come in a set of all different sizes and that way you can either use it for organizing different types of clothes, maybe you want to throw your swimsuits in one, your socks in another, your t-shirts in another, or you could also organize it by day so you keep your outfits together. It's a really easy way to keep your luggage and your suitcase and your backpack clean and organized and really easy to find things as well. And it's great for kids also so that way they can just grab what they need and go. A great snack or meal to take along on a road trip is the simple peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's so easy to make and you can make one for each family member to eat along the way a lot easier than stopping for fast food and you'll probably feel a lot better eating that as opposed to something greasy while on the road. So we're going to make our peanut butter and jelly sandwich for the trip. Another great tip is to just bring a loaf of bread with you, bring a jar of peanut butter. If you're bringing a cooler as well, you can also pack some jelly and just make sandwiches along the way. If you're taking a multi-day road trip, and it's also a great item to have while you're on your Myrtle Beach vacation as well, because that way you can make sandwiches to take down to the beach or maybe have for breakfast on your trip. It's a really great way to Feed your family while on a budget and you'll save a lot of money by doing that, by not going out to eat for all of your meals. Just gonna make this sandwich here. Put some jelly on it or you could just do peanut butter. Could get creative and add some bananas as well. And now we have the perfect road trip sandwich. If you can find a plastic container about this big, usually found in storage areas at the stores, or you might already have one in your house or for bathroom storage, you can use this to put your food in while you're eating on your road trip in your car so that it doesn't spill everywhere. It's really great. You can put your drink in there. You can put your sandwich in there. We've got some fruit and some crackers. So while you're eating, you can just eat right out of here. You don't have to worry about spilling at all. This is also another great option if you're going through the drive-through. I hate sticking my arm in a paper bag to pull french fries out. This is so much easier to grab out of, and you can put your drink in there as well if you don't have any cup holders. So this is another great travel hack. Who doesn't love a great road trip snack? So we've got a few tips for you in regards to the snacks you bring on your road trip. One great tip is that cereal, Dried cereal is a great thing for kids to snack on in the car, so we recommend packing that. If you're gonna take some fruit with you, if it's something that you need to cut up, do that in advance before you leave. Just makes it a little easier to eat in the car. Freeze-dried fruit is another great option. You can find that in some stores as well. These are some strawberries. And if you buy something in bulk, it's a lot easier to split it up into individual servings, either in plastic bags or some plastic containers as well, so that way the kids or you can just grab them and eat your serving and have some more for later. One great trick for your vacation is to always bring a roll of toilet paper and some hand sanitizer with you in your car for your road trip. Why, you may wonder? What if you get to a rest stop and they don't have any toilet paper available? You'll be ready with your own roll in your car just in case. Hand sanitizer for the same reason if they're out of soap and it's always nice to have in the car anyways for your long trip.